Alright, RPG players. Let's do it. Let's see. She needs to get some experience. So. Well, when I do the grinding later, I guess I can switch him in and take pictures and stuff. And even though I got 50,000. Oh shit, here we go. Pirate ship Dulce. I can't stress enough the importance of grinding in this dungeon because the boss is like ridiculously strong. See what I'm talking about? You only get like 600 experience compared to like, you know, the 1500 and 2100 I was getting just a little while ago. Ugh, so that's what I mean. The leveling up in this area is going to be kind of tough. Anyway, I'll just uh, show as much as I can of this and then um, I'm going to stop and I'm going to do some serious grinding. best eye patches. We are pirates. That sounds fun. Get the drop down from there. Your fangs. There's a drop off point. <laughs> she holds her dress to her uh, stomach or crotch or whatever. How funny. That's it. That sucks. What sucks is uh, you only get some of these treasure chests have like, I guess they're kind of useless. I really have no intention of using some of this stuff. That could come in handy later. 80% chance, chance of poison. Eh. <sighs> Too funny. Huh. 
I think there's like two types of pirates, the regular ones and the ones that have like uh, white hair. They're a bit stronger and they have uh, a little bit more experience, but that's about it. Let's see, left or right? Are you all right? What the? What's this thing? It looks like some kind of weird rock or something. Hey, Polka? Why are you carrying around this weird stone? To be honest with you, I don't even remember how long I've had that stone. According to my mother, I was already carrying it around with me when I was just four years old. She would tell me to throw it away, but I wouldn't listen to her. Apparently, I said it was a gift from someone I love, and I would never throw it away, no matter what. Huh? You had a boyfriend when you were four? Wow, you were really precocious, weren't you? I don't know why, but for some reason this stone feels very important to me, and I've never been able to throw it away. The distant memories of a fleeting love. Oh, it's so incredibly romantic. Enough with the mushy stuff. Let's just get moving. See him backing off all those giant flying hearts for... Hitting him in the face or something. Right. Who the hell has a boyfriend at four? Ugh! You bastard. See, there's a second type of pirate. He's got the white hair. They're a bit stronger. I guess I could fight him. I am not gonna lose this battle. Dance amidst the darkness, amidst the shadows. Coup de genre. Forget the pain you felt in the dream. Forget the pain you felt in the dream. Yeah, these bastards love to <clears throat> love to do uh, critical attacks. That's why I think that's why I'm keeping the uh, what's it called jacket. Yeah, prevents enemies critical hit. They love to do critical hit. 
There's a chest which I can't get to. Okay. Another hallway going down. And I think I can't, yeah, I came from this side. Alrighty. There's a chest. Let's see, is it this one? Yeah. I think there's only four levels. I should. Okay, that means I... Never mind. <laughs> Stick. Finally, a, a good item instead of like a freaking crappy healing item since I got like... You know, 35 healing powders. And this I'm not even going to use. And I was kind of bitched about that before. Of course. I have to fight these idiots. I know we can do it. Pound them. Stab them. Consume them. Coup de charme. Double kill. The pain you felt in the dream. There's a thousand experience right there. And I have to fight the second one too. Hard bastard. Pfft. It sucks because uh, if you're turned around, you have to press the uh, guard button to make them turn around, but at the same time you get attacked. 